Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video. This time we're going to be taking a look at an old FTK deck that a lot of people seem to think is completely unviable and completely incapable of performing the old FTK, and that is Gym Knight FTK. Last format, this FTK was one of the other FTKs in the format outside of Pendulum FTK, and it was one of those things that got actually addressed on the Forbidden Limited list in the form of Gym Knight Master Diamond going to 1. Unfortunately, that really doesn't do anything to actually stop this deck's FTK potential because the entirety of the card pool in Yu-Gi-Oh! is so vast and so varied in terms of what has been released over the past 15 plus years. It's one of those things where you can easily find substitutes that actually work in a cohesive manner to actually make the deck function and perform the same combo with the same degree of consistency as it previously could. Now, you don't have to play the additional cards in the main deck or extract to make this work. There's definitely a list that got first place at a Nationals over in Europe that didn't even play these cards. It just tried to open a lot of combo pieces and make it possible in any form of other you know, roundabout way. But if you play simply Glow Up Bulb in your main deck, that's the only card you have to dedicate to your main deck that would be a brick-natured card. That's really all you have to put into the deck that still makes this still viable as a deck that's still capable of FTKing. I have no idea why Lady Lapis Lazuli wasn't limited or banned, because then that would have completely cut the FTK off. It seems like Konami, when it's you know when it was going through its process of identifying Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, um, or Supreme King Starving Venom, whatever that card's name was, that it got banned, that copied the Lyralisk for the Pendulum FTK. It seems like Konami looked at that and was like, oh, this card's broken because it copies the effect of this Lyralisk. And Master Diamond was broken because it copied Lady Lapis Lazuli as well. But if you removed Lady Lapis Lazuli from the picture, Gym Knight Master Diamond could have stayed at 3, copied other Gym Knights that don't do anything, because Lady Lapis Lazuli was the only thing you were copying to make the FTK possible. Putting it at 1 or just outright banning the card would have made the deck incapable of FTKing people, but for some reason Konami left it legal. So, what I'm going to be showing you today is I'm going to be showing you a 2-card combo that is just Brilliant Fusion plus Rescue Rabbit. It doesn't have to be Rescue Rabbit, it can literally be any two Gym Knight monsters to make it a 3-card combo. It's very consistent for you to perform, you can perform it with Predator Plants, plus, you know, any way to block Dragon, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can draw the Glow Bulb that you're playing and the combo is still perfectly fine. Because in the later stages, you're going to be summoning Gym Knight Seraph Knight, but you haven't conducted two normal summons yet. So there's a lot of things that this deck can actually do as far as play. Uh, but Rescue Rabbit is the easiest way to show you in terms of uh, in terms of just getting to two Gym Knight monsters um, off the rip. But like I said, it can literally just be two Gym Knight monsters or just two ways to Gym Knight monsters. Unexpected Die does it. You just have to be able to summon one of them. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm just going to show you how this works. You're going to summon Rescue Rabbit. And you're going to summon any two vanilla Gym Knights from your deck. It does not matter which one it is because they're going to get shuffled back. Then you're going to activate the Brilliant Fusion for your Zirconia, sending Block Dragon. And again, just any Gym Knight. It doesn't matter which one it is. So you'll summon Zirconia. And then what you're going to do is you're going to link away into Phantom Quartz with the Zirconia and one of the Tourmalines that's on our field. And use Phantom Quartz's effect. This is going to search for arguably one of the best fusion spells, if not the best legal fusion spell in the game. Uh, in terms of like what plays it enables, like Shadal Fusion would probably be the best one, and this would be maybe second best, if you want to even argue that. But like this card is literally just great. Uh, but so what we have here is we have a live Block Dragon with these three engraved. So what we're going to do is we're going to special summon Block Dragon by getting rid of these three cards. And you're going to summon Block Dragon just somewhere where it doesn't interfere with anything. And this Tourmaline literally couldn't matter less. Uh, whether it was on the field or in your hand, so we'll we'll address that later. But you're just going to be fusing away with it essentially. Uh, but so what we've got is we've got Gym Knight Phantom Quartz up here, which we want to use, and we're going to summon Gym Knight Master Diamond, our newly limited friend, shuffling back the three banished cards, including the Zirconia, and summoning Master Diamond over in the far left hand zone. Now you want to go straight into Master Diamond instead of going into Lady Brilliant Diamond, because Lady Brilliant Diamond tributing itself to summon Master Diamond is not a proper fusion summon. It is a special summon, ignoring like summoning conditions. Or I don't even think it does that. Uh, let me see. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, ignoring its summoning conditions. It's just a special summon, and we need this to be properly fusion summoned for the reasonings behind how extra deck monsters being revived from the graveyard is played out, which you'll see why that matters shortly but so you got the master diamond over here it has done its job so now what you're going to do is you're going to link the phantom quartz and the block dragon into a mrs radiant over on this side of the field so we can start special summoning more the block dragon is going to trigger 
searching for your lapis, searching for your obsidian, and searching for your crystal rose. Same three targets we've always gotten to. And then from here, you could summon Block Dragon again later, but usually you don't need to because you're at the proper number of special summons on the field. Your field is usually full of all six monster zones being taken up with by special summon monsters. This combo does exactly 8,000, by the way. You can't play Upstart Goblin. <laughs> Just something to note. But so from here, what you're going to do is you're going to activate the Gym Knight Fusion, and you are going to fuse into Zirconia using the... Tourmaline that could be in your hand or on your like on your field. That's rabbit, so it's on our field. Uh, but you can just use it from field. And then we are going to use the Gym Knight Lapis. Summon this here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to activate the Gym Knight Fusion, and we're going to banish the Phantom Quartz from Grave, adding that back. And we're just using Zirconia as a stepping stone to get the Crystal Rose on the field. So what we're going to do is we're now going to make Seraph Knight, and we're going to use Gym Knight Zirconia and Crystal Rose for Seraph Knight right here. So now Zirconia is in Grave, so we're going to activate the Crystal Rose, banishing Zirconia, summoning Crystal Rose back from our Grave, and then we can activate its effect, milling a Lazuli from our deck to Grave to copy its name, and then Lazuli will add back the Lapis. Right? So then from here we're going to activate this, Fusion in Grave, just banishing a card, it doesn't matter. For Gym Knight Fusion, if you can't tell, I'm really annoyed and tired that this is something that is still capable of being done. But I mean, you, it's easily stopped by hand traps and impermanence and shit, so I guess that's okay. But it's still a completely legal FTK that was intended to be stopped by the f previous Forbidden and Limited list, but it is still completely viable with one change to the main deck. Literally one change. Play Glow Up Bulb. That's it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright, so, what you're ended up with is you've got Lazuli, uh, Lapis, and uh, Obsidian in your hand. You're going to activate the Gym Knight Fusion for the Lady Lapis Lazuli using the Obsidian and the Lapis from your hand. This gets summoned over here. The Obsidian gets to trigger, summoning the Lapis back. And now from here you've got six special summon monsters on the field. So what you're capable of doing is using the Lady Lapis Lazuli that's right here. Sending another copy of Lady Lapis Azuli from your extra deck to the grave, burning for 3k. And then what you're capable of doing is then using Master Diamond to copy the Lady Lapis Azuli in grave. And then use its effect to burn for another, uh, did I say 3k? 2500 is what you're burning for. It doesn't matter uh, what you send. Um, at this point, you could just send Lazuli and get the vanilla back. Um, if you even have one in grave, but in this instance we don't. Um, if we had not banished the Tourmaline in this instance, we could have added it back, but it's literally free. It doesn't matter. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to activate Gym Knight Fusion and Grave, uh, which is kind of just free and extra. You really don't need to do anything from this point onward. You've got the OTK established, or the FTK. Man, I'm tired. But anyway, so what you're going to do is what we've got here is we've got uh, a Gym Knight Master Diamond over here. We've got Seraph Knight here, and we've got the Mrs. Radiant here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make Curious with them using Mrs. Radiant, using Seraph Knight, and using the Master Diamond, because we want Master Diamond in Grave. Then we're going to use Curious's effect, milling the Glow Up Bulb from our deck to Grave. Where is it? There it is. You'd think it'd be easy to find with the deck in order. And then the cards that you mill off the top for Curious literally do not matter what they are. Uh, it doesn't matter. The only thing that could matter about it is if they're monsters that fuel another Block Dragon summon, but at this point you've already got a bunch of other Earths in your grave as well that can be banished for Block Dragon because it just requires Earths to special summon it. Uh, so, like, that's still something that's completely fine to do. But so then what you're going to do is you're going to activate the Glow Up Bulb, milling a card, specialing the Glow Up Bulb, and what you're going to do is you're going to Synchro Summon into Cloud Castle with the Bulb, the Lady Lapis Azuli, and the Lapis. Now, the reason why it doesn't matter if you draw the one Glow Up Bulb is that, as you'll note, Seraph Knight is also a level 5, so all you have to do is link away to make a zone to then normal summon Glow Up Bulb with your additional normal summon with Seraph Knight. And then you've got the three with Lapis, the five with Seraph Knight, and the one with Glow Up Bulb. Uh, but if that needs to be clarified, I will show you in a different situation. But so Cloud Castle, its effect will activate, and you're going to bring back Master Diamond, because Master Diamond is a level 9. And Cloud Castle brings back level 9s when it's Synchro Summoned. And so now at this point, you already just have a 2k burn, but if you have... A block dragon you want to use, so be it. Go for it. This is completely live, guaranteed, because of the fact that you just synchroed with three Earths and you made three Earths into Curious. So what you're able to do is then just do this, and you're able to just copy the Lapis Lazuli that's in Grave, and then use its effect to burn for 85. It doesn't matter what you send, that's game. You can't burn for 9k unless you're capable of putting two block dragons on field or just having like another special summon monster out. Um, but it's one of these things that it's super consistent to do. 
it's still super consistent to do. Limiting Master Diamond didn't really fix the issue. Um, the deck still just hard loses to Hand Traps, which was the deck's biggest issue in the previous format. It's kind of irritating to me that it still exists, though, in the entirety of the way that it does, because usually when, you know, FTKs are addressed on a Forbidden and Limited list, they're addressed in a way so that, like, if they're possible to be done again, they have to be very heavily adapted in terms of new card pool, new things like that. This literally requires you playing one card in your main deck, Globe Bulb. Your deck's no less consistent than it was before. You can even draw the Glow Bulb, and the play is still perfectly possible to do, because you don't perform your additional normal summon with Seraph Knight after you summon it. You literally only summon it so you get Crystal Rose out of your hand. That's it. And then you just have to play the two cards in your extra deck, the Curious and the Cloud Castle. <laughs> it literally changes nothing. You lost two Master Diamonds. You replace them with this card and this card. It's so easy. But so, just so it's super clear... I'm going to reset this and I'm going to show you what you do if you do draw into the Glow Bulb, just for clarity's sake. Alright, so our hand is Rabbit plus Brilliant Fusion plus Glow Bulb. Again, it doesn't have to be Rabbit, just any way to normal summon a Gym Knight and then have another Gym Knight in your hand to fuse with. Pretty easy. So you're going to do the same exact thing we do. I'm going to speed through this. I was going to just skip to the last step, but I realized that that would be, again, more, you know, problems that some people don't just... Some people have trouble understanding uh, where things connect up in terms of combo sequences unless they see the entire thing uh, so might as well do this so you make phantom quartz again use quartz's effect search for gym knight fusion best fusion spell confirmed then you're going to summon the block dragon using one two three you're not going to banish the globe bulb clearly and then you're going to use the phantom quartz shuffling back those for master diamond boom master diamond here then you're going to make the mrs radiant Mrs. Radiant with Block Dragon and Phantom Quartz over on this side of the field. Block Dragon will trigger, searching for Lapis, Obsidian, Crystal Rose, so you can make the play possible. And then from here, activate this. Fusion Summon into this, uh, using this and this. Boom. I guess it doesn't matter specifically which fusions you use, you just need to make sure you keep the Obsidian and the Crystal Rose alive. So activate this, Banishing Phantom Quartz. You're going to make the Seraph Knight now. And you're not going to just go ahead and summon the Glow Bulb. You're going to do that later. Uh, so Zirconia, Crystal Rose into the Seraph Knight. Then this gets to activate. Summoning itself back by banishing the Zirconia. Activate this. Send a Lazuli from deck to grave. That will recur our precious vanilla that we need, the Lapis. Then you can activate the Fusion. Banishing this. Getting the Fusion back. Then you get to activate this for Lady Lapis Azuli with this and Lapis over here. The Obsidian Triggers gets us right back to where we were before. Puts this here. Then we get to activate this, sending Lady Lapis Azuli from the extra deck to the grave. Burn for 3k. And then you get to uh, you get to do the, uh, the thingo with the Master Diamond. I'm losing my train of thought trying to do this quickly. Don't make me play in time, Konami. <laughs> but so do this and then make uh, just send a little Zule, it doesn't matter. Uh, this will trigger, adding back whatever vanilla's in grave if it's there. And then from here, what you're going to do is because you haven't used the normal summon off of this card yet, what you're going to do is you want to put this in grave. You definitely want to put this and the Master Diamond in grave. And you want to keep enough to make Cloud Castle. And so instead of having to make Curious because you don't need to because you drew the Glow Up Bulb. You're just going to go into Proxy Dragon, or just any Link 2. You can make another Phantom Quartz here. Doesn't actually matter. You're going to use uh, the Master Diamond and the uh, Lady Lapis into just whatever Link 2 you can make. And you haven't used your additional Normal Summon for Seraph Knight yet, so you just Normal Summon it. Now this is 1 plus 5 plus 3. That's 9. Because Seraph Knight and Lady Lapis have the exact same level. So, boom, boom, boom. Cloud Castle. Use Cloud Castle. Bring back Master Diamond. At this point... Your block dragon is live again if you wanted to do so. Or at least I think it is. Should be. There it is. Yeah, special summon. I just missed the button. So you could just get rid of uh, get rid of the bulb. You could actually mill for the bulb, and that's again a way to do 3k, because that puts six monsters on field. Uh, but like this is still this is still possible. This is still free. So you could just summon the block dragon, because it's better than the bulb. Uh, and then activate this. Banishing uh, the lapis. And then activate this to just send a card from deck to grave and burn for 3k. So, if you draw the bulb, you actually do more damage. Good to know. You can actually do 9k if you draw the bulb, but I definitely wouldn't... 
I like, I definitely wouldn't play three bulb just to do that. Uh, you might be able to play like Lone Fire to do that, because like Lone Fire then can get Predator Plant Scorpio, but then later in the turn, if you have Lone Fires like duplicate Lone Fires, you could then normal summon Lone Fire off that Seraph Knight and get Globe Bulb. Possibilities, things to consider. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. That is just what I wanted to share with you: is that the Gemini FTK is still super consistent you literally only have to put glow bulb in your main deck as a one of card that is still perfectly fine to draw and you don't need to open brilliant fusion for this to be possible you can just open like any way to get block dragon and grave multiple gym knights unexpected dies rescue rabbit the predator plant scorpio like there's so many different ways for this to open many ftk possibilities as like i konami you fucked up you you should have just banned lady lapis azuli or limited it because if you limit it, you can't send a copy of it with itself. You have to b use it, and then get rid of it so that Master Diamond can copy it, banishing it. Even then, that's only two effect procs. And then you have to be able to Phantom Quartz, shuffle it back, and then send it to Grave again, or with some like thing. Like, it becomes super complex and complicated, and like, a roundabout way of doing it if Lady Lapis had been at one. But no, for some reason you decided to limit Master Diamond, the card that literally does nothing, without Lady Lapis Azuli being in the picture. It just copies a bunch of Gym Knight monsters that suck. Wow. But anyway, that's just what I wanted to show you for this video. As always, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, guys, I'd love to hear your questions, comments, or concerns, and what have you. As always, like, comment, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Check out the links in the description of my Twitter if you want to go follow me on that and connect with me on a more personal level. My Facebook fan page, which I check periodically sometimes as well. And my Twitch page if you want to go follow that and get notified next time I go live for a live stream, which I need to actually do one. I haven't done one in a long time at this point, but definitely something that I need to do. Also, if you want to support the channel directly and support my ability to make content continuously, Patreon link is in the description down below. Every little bit helps. Any amount of support is greatly appreciated, and you'd be forever awesome in my eyes. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.